In today's episode, suggested something called the Ireland Way, which unfortunately is completely not accessible to horses at all. And the gamble is we're not sure if the cycle route is rideable on horses or not. We try and catch a ferry boat across the Shannon. That was a bit crap. This morning, we've only been riding for, oh, oh, Lily. She's very excited to go today. She had one day off and that was too many, too many days. Um, so this morning, when we first started, we were unsure of which route to take because we had basically two options. One was to try and catch a ferry boat across the Shannon, which would require finding someone with a horse box or a trailer um, to help us get on the ferry and cross to the other side. And that would have helped us avoid a lot of main roads and avoid a big city, Limerick. Um, the second option was the other day, I think actually yesterday on Facebook, one of my, um, one of the ladies who's been following the adventure, she suggested something called the Ireland Way, which unfortunately is completely not accessible to horses at all, um, as is basically everything in this country, not accessible to horses. And we decided that if we tried the Ireland way, we would have to definitely avoid the walking routes because horses just cannot do it. It's not possible. But there is a cycle route and the gamble is we're not sure if the cycle route is rideable on horses or not, but it sounds like it's going to be quiet roads. So the Ireland way people actually replied to our message and said that, well, it's roads and there's fast drivers. But to be honest, we're riding on roads anyways, so does it really make a difference? I don't know. Um, so this morning, about half an hour into our ride, a very friendly man um, stopped us and said, oh, I love what you're doing with the horses, and was asking us questions, very friendly. And we actually already sorted us a field for the night, which is great. So we're both gonna take that as a sign from the universe that we chose the right decision and we are going the correct way. What do you think, Christian? Very good. So the Ireland way cycle route it is, and we will be cutting through the middle of Ireland now. So our game has completely changed. We arrive in Mill Street after a 30 kilometer detour heading inland instead of riding north. We have officially spent one full day sidetracking, but are hopeful that this detour will allow us to avoid the Shannon River and the need to source a horse trailer to ferry us across. Christian has gone to look for a map of the Ireland Way cycle route, so we'll see what he finds. Christian was unable to find a map of the Ireland Way. However, he did return with the promise of a place to stay for the night, another hour's ride out of town. The friendly man in the tire shop had drawn him a map with directions. We set out again and arrived just before dark. We set up camp inside the arena and Lily and Q get a stable for the night. We have a visitor in our tent who keeps us awake most of the night. Morning comes and we say goodbye to our hosts at Colongiel Stud. The friendly family gives us a map to continue onwards towards the north of Ireland. And he also calls several favors to friends and arranges for us to not only have a place to camp for the next two nights, but also arranges another friend to meet us with his horse trailer to take us across the Shannon. It seems our detour didn't stop us from crossing the Shannon, but, at the same time, we never would have met our new friends who were able to arrange us a horse trailer had we not gone to Mill Street. Not worried about arranging a place to stay for the night, Christian and I enjoy our rides. Okay. 
open a soda can on top of her. And also that it doesn't bubble a lot. <laughs> we stop for lunch at a grocery store. The locals give us funny looks as our horses stand in the parking lot with the other cars, but most of them are curious and ask us about our journey. We arrive for the night and put the blankets on the horses to prepare for the rain. We pitch our tent on the hard cement floor inside the stable and awake to a lovely morning view and a very dirty lily. Well, on both sides. She didn't miss a spot. We hit the road wearing our rain ponchos from Brazil. We expect a lot of rain in the next few days. It's very windy today and the wind brings showers twice. Uh, we had hail already. So yeah, it's a bit of a challenging day. We don't get soaking wet, but we get sprayed a lot. Sometimes we even have to stop because the wind is so strong um, and we can't hold on to our ponchos and everything. We have a lovely little sunshine stint between the showers. I say good that we put the punch on. <laughs> Next morning, we awake very early to try and meet our new friend and his horse trailer on time. We have a very limited window and need to catch the ferry boat before the last boat of the day. It's a good five hour ride away, and once we cross the Shannon, we do not have a place to stay for the night and we'll need to hurry before the sun goes down to try and find a field for the night for our horses. We arrive at the meeting point and load our horses into the trailer. He drives us onto the ferry boat and we set sail.
The wind is very strong and the waves are causing a lot of choppiness. But our ladies are tired from their long day and stand quietly in the trailer. Our new friend drops us off in the parking lot on the other side of the ferry port and gets back on the ferry just before the last boat so he can go home. Uh, the horses and us, we all got dropped off at the ferry terminal. Q is looking at me. Um, we got dropped off at the ferry terminal. Uh, we don't know where we're going to stay tonight. It's already like 5.15 in the evening. Um, that's our stuff there. So we basically just got dropped here with no place to stay. Don't really know what to do. Uh, Christian just ran. There's a pub just down the road, of course. So he just ran to go and ask and see if he can find us something somewhere to stay for the night. So that is our current situation. Hopefully it works. We scramble to find a place to stay, but after hours waiting in the parking lot with no success, finally, a friendly ferry boat driver gets off duty and comes to our rescue. He shows us a small abandoned field for us to stay for the night. This turns out to be the biggest mistake we made during our Ireland adventure. Read about our Ireland adventures in the Equestrian Adventuresses book series available on Amazon. Next time! The horses meet some unusual house guests. We end up in the city center. Lily is finally tired. We've gone a bit extra miles today than we needed to. It's not raining. 